So I just had a visit from the bylaw officer, wondering what I'm doing in the uh, in this public area with all of this wood here. Apparently I'm not allowed to uh, um, do automotive repairs here, but he wasn't sure if this fit in, so I think he, he, he used to do this. Uh, as long as no one complains. So I've cut the other the other side. So essentially, what I've got is I've got I've got the in the background here. Uh, that over there is the um, this is the the platform here, and then we've got the um, one side. This will be the uh, driver side paddle. Cut, it'll go up the side and then this one I just cut is the passenger side panel so I've cut the curve for the bottom so and it fits quite nicely fits quite nicely fitting right into the right into the rain gutter which was exactly what I want um, I want it to fit down into this into this groove here because from down down here, you can't see that, and so it helps to create a nice uh, invisible um, spot or a, an invisible line uh, for the uh, the cap that I'm building to fit on. It helps to make it, it trims things nicely. And uh, so I've got the I've got both the sides and the base done for the for the cap and and now uh, I'm trying to decide whether I'm, I definitely don't want to build it up on the up on the van but uh, I've got to consider some things number one I can build it down on the ground and then fiberglass it on the ground and then put it up on the van the problem with that is uh, it's gonna be pretty heavy I'm, I might and, and I don't want to end up knocking you know there's a nice spoiler on the back hatch I don't want to knock that off and I don't want to knock off you know drop it and knock a mirror off because that would suck you know and uh, I want it to look as nice as possible you know as nice as finish as, as possible got out here and the uh, I was going to fasten the um, base onto the onto the roof just to drill those holes and uh, the challenge that I've got is the uh, I use two by two here and it's right on the same width as where I need to put the fasteners in and these these are my sort of uh, what I'm going to attach things to and stuff is to these two by twos so I think next time I don't know it uses a lot of space but I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out a way but this that's that's where the hole is supposed to go for the screws and that's not going to allow it to drill through there so I'm gonna to have to build some reinforcement in here um, but anyway I don't know if that makes a lot of sense but uh, so I think what I'm going to do is put it all back in the van um, and then I'm gonna build it on the ground um, see see how that goes Got out here, and all of the batteries for my uh, my electric my cordless drill were dead. That didn't help. But uh, I've got plenty of other things to do. I'm, now I'm going to use a similar technique for uh, um, picking up the uh, the curve on the front of the van. So I've got this this here. I'll put this up here, and then I'll measure the distance. I'll level it up and make sure that it's the same height on both ends, that, that this gap is the same height at both ends. Um, and then I'll measure 
at different points along here so I can get the right curve because when the rooftop comes down, it's going to have to fit down on a curve. Something, so that's the curve from, this is an interesting boat building dilemma. And that is, so you can see the curve of the, the front of the van here, this way. So the, the, I, can, I can figure out a way to make the cap fit like that. But there's also a curve this way coming down here. And uh, fortunately, because I'm using the five, five millimeter plywood, um, I don't think that that's going to be a, an issue. But anyway, I, I don't even know if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's all in my brain. But, but uh, ultimately, when the, when the cap comes down, I may have to shave this edge, this edge of this slightly to, to make it fit flush. I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but I, or I may uh, just put some good trim on there. We'll see. Anyway, I'm trying to do a good job, and I hope you're enjoying watching the journey, and I hope I'm not being too uh, verbose. All right.